good morning everyone. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, this is welcome to our project application that we just created. It's called the Project Management Tool created by my group, my team, which is the Integrated Minds. Uh, our application is not yet fully functional as there is a lot of debugging that we need to do, but you guys should get an idea of what exactly uh, our plan was for the whole thing. Okay, introduction. Project management skills has become a huge importance for a lot of industries that contribute towards the economy, especially towards the production size of the government. Industries such as IT management, financial services, healthcare management, research management, communication, marketing, transport, logistics, public sectors, as well as non-government organizations have seen an increase in demand for this. One interesting statistic on the project management industry is that it accounts for 156 billion euros in the United Kingdom according to consultancy of the UK and it is a trend that is likely to grow bigger. Someone else. Uh, introduction. The project management system has been developed over the problem prevailing in the practicing manual system this software is the support is the support type to eliminate and in some cases in some cases reduces the hardship faced by the existing system objectives the purpose of the project is to, is to build an application program to reduce the complicit the complicities for managing projects system requirements programming language c sharp javascript html slash CSS, bootstrap, bootstrap software, Visual Studio 2019, SQL Server Management. Okay, so this is basically the system development process that you need to go through throughout a project management, starting from the planning side, initiating, knowing what the project is gonna be, planning your task, events, when you think we do, and then brainstorming, okay, what type of project are we trying to build? What system are you trying to build? And we're gonna go into the user interface. Yeah, um, uh, I'm Saban speaking. Um, I'm the one that um, initially like, created the whole thing. As you can see here, the uh, account creation page, uh, if you want to create an account, you can just put in your name, your email, uh, your email ID, your password, and to confirm your password so that you can actually know it rather than forget it. And then like once you've actually done your account, you can come into the welcome page where like you can just enter it uh, uh, the password and then you can sign in and get inside the the um the system. Once you're inside the system, this is going to be the home screen. Um the home screen is gonna show you the KPI dashboard, the calendar. These are specifically buttons that you can press to actually load in specific things that you want. Maybe you want to go to the to-do list. Um, if you want to create a project, you can press the button, or if you have a current project and you want to update it, you can also press the button to continue further into that. And uh, this is what the calendar is going to be. This is mainly uh, a prototype of how the calendar is supposed to be like. But once you're inside the once you're inside the app, the calendar is going to be more more appropriate to show you actually which dates you're supposed to like work on and everything, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And this is the test system that's actually going to show you other things. Yeah, and this uh, the system is actually going to have a chat system where in where actually when you have a project and you have uh, collaborators that you can talk to, you can actually use the chat system to talk to them and send ideas and you know talk to each other properly. <coughs> So if the task is not completed, you, you 
Password, there's a type of uh, encasing that it should have, so you need to have a mix of noun, uh, alphanumeric characters, so you could probably use the add sign for this.
Okay, as soon as you're done, you go into your dashboard, which is the welcome page. You see it, uh, welcome to hello to, to at gmail.com. Then uh, with every project management tool, we know that a lot of people need to create events for their tasks. So you can start by creating your calendar, looking over your calendar. Okay, today's the 25th, it shows here, this part is red. You need to create an event, you select whichever date you need to create an event for. Plan project. Then the event should be added to the data list. And then we've made it easier for you to scale through the database by the calendar by going through other months, as well as uh, changing whichever date you need. Then you can go into the task system, which is meant to create whichever event you need. You create whatever event you want, task name. Um, let's say uh, Blue's Month. Practice. Save that. As soon as you save it, it's part of your requested list. And if you need to update whatever task you need to update, you can probably say. changed and as soon as you completed with that you can just delete it are you sure you want to delete this delete it and then top your list just to keep it clean and simple and then um, the fully the other part we have is the chat system which is not fully functional yet and then uh, yes that's all we have